Hello everyone. Let us try to understand hybridization by taking a few examples. Now let's take a quick look at these two compounds and try to un understand them by solving this particular problem. So here we have been asked to identify the number of sp3, sp2 and sp carbon atoms in this given structure. In the second question, we are asked what are the hybridization states involved in this particular compound. Essentially, identify the hybridization of all the different carbon, uh, carbon atoms involved here. Let's try to solve this problem. So, in, in this particular problem, you can see that sp3 hybridization is saturated, which means carbon has four bonds actually bonded and sp2 means we have one double bond and sp means we have one triple bond. So, if we identify, look at this, we can see that there are two double bonds here. So, obviously we have four carbon atoms which is sp2 and if we look at here, we have one triple bond here which means you have two carbon atom with sp hybridization. If you look at the remaining carbon atoms, we can see that they are all sp3 hybrid states. So, to conclude, we can say that all the 1s here are sp3 hybrid carbon atoms and there are 6. All the 2s involved are sp2 hybrid atoms that is double bond involved which are 4 and all the 3s involved here are sp hybrid atoms which are 2, we have 2 carbon atoms which have sp hybridization. In this question, we have been asked to identify the hybridization states of various carbon atoms in this particular compound. So, we can see that the first carbon atom here as actually is involved in a double bond with this carbon and so is 1, 2, 3. If we name these carbon atoms as C1, C2 and C3, we can see that there is a double bond between C1 and C2 and between C2 and C3. So, whenever we have a double bond, how do we exactly see which hybridization state it is? We can also find the hybridization state by seeing the number of sigma bonds. Now, if I elaborate this, we can elaborate it as CH2 double bond C double bond C CH2. Now, we know that in sp2 hybridization, we have three sigma bonds and here we have similarly three sigma bond. So, we have sp2 and same applies to the C3 carbon as well because 1, 2 and 3 sigma bond you have here sp2 hybridization. Now, the second carbon that is C2 has how many sigma bonds? Here we can see that C is actually C2 is involved in two double bonds and it essentially have one sigma bond here, one sigma bond here and one pi bond here, one pi bond here. So, in sp hybridization we have two sigma and two pi bonds. So, this is essentially how you can identify the hybridization states of various carbon atoms in different compounds.